previously on Modern Money. We looked at the four features of a sovereign currency. We then looked at the four benefits of a sovereign currency. We learned the key to prosperity are the real resources. A nation can access such as land, equipment, skills of its people, and natural resources. And productively employing all those resources is necessary for prosperity. It is not a sufficient condition though, as a nation has to have sufficient resources to be prosperous. Putting it all together. MMT says the government cannot run out of money. Critics accuse us of advocating spending without limit and hyperinflation. As Warren Mosler puts it, government checks don't bounce. As obligations such as interest payments come due, sovereigns can always pay. Critics say MMT says deficits don't matter. The truth is as deficits grow and then the economy improves, Automatic stabilizers kick in reducing deficits, allocating resources to poverty, homelessness, and age care is what matters. MMT says government spends by keystroking reserves into existence. Critics say it is all about forcing central banks to print up money for all government spending. The current procedures adopted by the Treasury, Central Bank and private banks allow government to spend up to the budget approved by Parliament, no change of procedure is required. MMT emphasizes that sovereign governments face resource constraints. Not financial constraints. MMT has always argued that too much spending, whether by the government or the private sector, can cause inflation. Modern Money MMT Our friend Jengus at Fighting Fish, that's Jengus J E N G I S dot org, has a great post called Let's Have a Rational Debate on Spending that explains all about the particular types of budget appropriations. Everybody needs money for their tax bills or they're gone.